Good afternoon chaps, it's Greg here again with a kit review, it's from the Telford from what I got from Telford as you can see it's a drag, it's an oldish kit, I think it's 2007 I think, something like that the box is a bit tatty on the ends and things but everything was everything was bagged up properly and it's the Haunch Shrek 4B Grasshopper an unusual subject, to say the least nice artwork I said explain later as you're going through it what I mean about it being unusual. It doesn't look unusual to look at, but what it can do is fairly unusual. But uh, yeah, nice artwork. It's a 135 scale, it's a dragon, and it's from their 39 to 45 series. And the kit number is six four three nine. Let's see, I'll just pitch it again on the of the box out in the front, the same on the rear, on the sorry, on the uh, on the other side, and on this side we have a few of the CAD drawings of uh, how it's going to be. It looks quite nice, quite detailed interior. Obviously, it was open because it was an open uh, turret. You know, something about there uh, being strange. Look, put it on a bloody crate, a trolley, and tr and uh, keep it separate. Weird. And on the other side, we have uh, the only variation that's in the box. I think there's only about four made or something. The daft like that wasn't the most, the most successful. I think it was built on the Shans uh, Panzer IV chassis. Not 100 percent sure, but I think it looks like it to me. And on the back, we have the typical CAD drawings again that um, Dragon do. In out there on the uh, on that picture there, the first black one. It's unusual. It's got like a you can understand why it's called a grasshopper. You see with them bits popping up, popping up in that. Nice interior. Let's go and get rid of that uh, light a bit. No, it'll be better. While you bring it up, it's the worse it gets. So plenty of CAD drawings on there. It looks quite nice, detailed. It's all typical stuff. So let's before we do anything else, let's. Uh, have a look in the box. I say the box was tattered and bought when I bought it, but that was from Tal from the second hand store. But everything's in there. He issue with me, and I've got his email address. He said if there's anything that's missing, just give me an email, but I don't think there is. So it's the Heinschreck Hausschrecker Mark 4B Grasshopper, and it's got a 10.5mm gun. I can't pronounce the rest of it because it's really. I can't be tongue round that, as they say. So let's have a look what we've got in the box. There's quite a lot in the box. Let's draw me to it and look in the one and look in the box. As you can see, it's got a dragon card in there, which is unusual. Not a full dragon card, but a lot more than normally get now. So I'm going to dry my mouth today. It's just the medication I take. Uh, sometimes it gives me a dry mouth. So first of all, we'll have a look at this. We'll just move the box out of shot. We've got the rest of the rubbish out the way. Let's pop that out the way. So I won't get everything out of, these, out of this, but say so we've got the, the uh, magic tracks, left and right one would presume. And in there we have, let's get rid of this bloody glare. It's got the plastic in it, I'll have to open this. Uh, I'll just open it from the top, it's not a problem. I'm going to put me a bloody knife now. We'll just get it from the glare so we can't really see it, can we? So I'll have to open it up. I won't bother with the magic tracks. But I'll just do the dragon card. As you can see, we've got the the turret. Individual some small small pieces like uh, looks like the uh, P the um, pioneer tools. Yeah, pioneer tools and the C clamps for the for the tracks, the fire extinguisher, look nicely detailed, typical dragon. And um, we have a clear sprue with a small set of decals. So, you know, it's. I say, I think I paid, was it 20, 25 pounds I paid for it? I thought it was, which wasn't too bad, really. So, I know magic tracks alone can be quite expensive if you're buying them individually off of people on eBay, so. I just, I just like unusual things sometimes, so I purchased it anyhow. So, I'll pop that away. Out the way. First, we'll go through each, each sprue. So, 
so this is better individual bags the only thing with the mini arc kit that I did yesterday was one big bag and everything was just falling out of it right so we're first off with this sprue is sprue B and it says here yeah, on Shrekker Honch, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that now. Honch Shrekker Mark 5B, I'm sorry, Mark 4B. And the detail again, we've got the checker plate on the uh, on the board there, really nicely detailed. Really, really nice. As you can see, it's really crisp. Really nice. And then we have part of this grasshopper part. Like a, well, I can't expect like a, how the turret comes off and they put it on. It's weird, weird. I don't think it was a major success, so that's why I don't think they built many. And there's a, it's like a firewall. Part of the uh, front hatches, I would say. So nicely detailed again. Oh, nice, the nice bolt heads and locks for the, sorry, hinges for the, uh, for the, for the hatches. I'm sure that by that looking at that, yeah, it must be uh, either a, the, no, I don't know if that's the end end of it or a firewall, we'll soon find out. So everything's quite nicely moulded on there, so there's no flash and it's uh, looks nice so far. Right, next, the next sprue. The kit I went for down to um, Telford 4, apart from lovely looking around and seeing the uh, what was available was the uh, Trumpeter IS-7. I couldn't find one anywhere. The only one that was at the show was one that somebody had built. So I didn't get one, but I wasn't too disheartened because I don't get it off the internet. So I just thought I'd uh, try my luck down there. No, not too uh, successful, unfortunately. So we've got the nice detail on the rear engine hatch. Really quite nice, that's really, really nicely done. Really nice. I presume that's the part of the upper hull as well where the turret sits and there's the uh, two more hatches and this must be for the inside, yeah it is, it's for the inside because say it would have been an open turret it would be on the side walls and again we have another possibly the firewall this time, they're 100% sure again but nicely detailed, some more of the grasshopper parts um, I don't know if that's part of the exhaust system or it's to do with the suspension 100% sure but it's really nicely moulded really nice crisp clean but very nice right next one Now this is the part that I was on about, it's a bit unusual part of the uh, setup. We have, which I thought was part of the suspension, but this is a part of the, uh, like a cart. And we have two separate parts to build up on the outside. So there's two of these, two sprues are exactly the same. So that goes on the rear. Now that's on the rear of the tank. When I go through the instructions I'll show you where about it goes. But there again, all these nicely detailed parts. as a yeah, we've got a machine gun, a few, um, I don't know what they are, not 100% what them little ones are there. We have the shells, the shells, we have the storage for the shells, so obviously this is all interior stuff, a lot of hatches, okay, all nicely done again. Looks like a radio, is that a radio? There's some sort of radio set there. So it's got a bit of an interior, it's quite a nice interior by looking at the uh, the CAD drawings. Yeah, so we have the missile, the uh, missiles, the uh, ammunition as well. A few storage boxes again, and a couple of things with more interior stuff. So there's, there's some more of the shells as well, there's bigger shells there. They must be a force. I'm not percent sure what they are then. Yeah, no, they're not shells are they? Too small. Suspension part. My apologies, I thought they were like shells, they've been stored, but they're only small. So yeah, we have a couple of uh, loose shells there and obviously we must have something to go in the uh, shell cases. 
So there's two sprues exactly the same there, so there's no point in showing you the one. <coughs> You're gonna have to have a drink. Oh, that's better. We'll go with the lower hole next. So it's quite a chunky lower hole. As you can see, it's quite large. Quite a bit of detail on the edges. Uh, obviously, where the suspension arms go and the uh, bogies. The running, the wheels for the running for the top. Yeah, nice bit of detail underneath again. Got a few hatches. I don't suppose there was an escape hatch down below with being open turreted, I wouldn't have thought so, because I can't see one. Unless that was sort of one there, but I uh, wouldn't have thought so. Yeah. So nicely, nicely, nicely moulded, really is. It's quite chunky and it's uh, very flat as well. And it's, uh, there's no warpage at all, so that's quite good. I didn't realise it was that big and chunky to be honest. Right, it's quite a lot of plastic in this kit as well. So it could be work cut out with these kits that I've been getting. And here again we have part of the uh, the gun inside for the gun and the mantle cover, um, presumably there for the side of it as well. <laughs> And the, mud, and the gun is slide moulded, as you can see, but a two part, uh, I've seen it before, where did I see it at? Sure it was two part muscle break, I thought it was a bit strange, having a nice gun slide moulded and a two piece um, muscle break, unless that was on another kit. But there's the end to go on as well, so I think, I was probably dreaming that, I think that possibly will go on the end. There we go. That will go on the end of the gun, so it's just me being stupid. And there's, there's the mantle that again the gun sits in, and then we have the, the lower hook, the sorry, lower toe. It's got nice teeth detail as well. The cog, as if it was sitting in there. A lot of this will be part of the uh, you know in, inner workings of the gun. There's just a couple of wheels there as well. So yeah, that's nice again. Nice, nicely, nicely moulded again. I said Dragon usually do nicely moulded things, but sometimes their fits a bit dodgy and uh, the destructions are abominable at times. But here we have, um, oh, this is quite nice, I didn't realise this was in here. We have a, uh, a crewman and gear set, which is GA. We have uh, the usual stuff at the helmets, we've got the spades. Nicely detailed, we've got, um, I don't know what they are, set ammunition belts, with water carriers, again small ammunition pouches I think, or binocular cases, gas masks, oh, that's quite, I didn't realise that was in there, yeah, more ammunition cases by the looks of it, yeah, yeah. I'm not 100% sure what these little uh, little circle ones are. I don't know if it was Russian. I it would be a Russian magazine, the um, for the machine gun. But I'm not 100% sure what they are. But they're for the, uh, the crewmen. I don't think there's any crew in here, but uh, I'll give you this. I'll give you this. Yeah, German gear. German gear. So, just a little bonus sprue that's thrown in there. You should be able to find some sort of crew for it. Right, we have another bag here with two sprues the same again, which is obviously the uh, you know the workings for the the track, sorry the uh, wheels and things. And again, nicely detailed. That's the uh, I zoom. Yeah, that's the outside, and that's the zoom there. The outside. Well, it could be. I think it's those actually. So we have a, lots of. Nicely do, so there's a parting line around the wheels, but that's neither here nor there, we can always get them up there. Really nicely detailed part for the, uh, these look like um, parts for the bogies to go on. So really, really nice. See, they're really nicely detailed, and the rivet heads and everything are really crisp. See, so there's no flash. And then we have the return wheel there, 
two pieces part of the uh, part of the suspension there for the bogies like leaf springs small parts headlight lots of small parts but I say a lot of this will probably be used for the uh, the running gear I would have thought small little delicate pieces there again still very nice nicely uh, nicely molded and I say I've come across no um, sinkholes or, or you know injection marks where there shouldn't be, which is a good, which is always good in a kit. You, can, you get kits that uh, have them, don't have them. Sorry, in their uh, excuse me, the mouldings. Right, so there's plenty more plastic here. This part of the uh, the grasshopper part. So I won't take it out of the bag again. They're small, but they're nicely moulded again. Nicely, yeah, can't argue with that. Nice, nice indeed. Right, some more of the uh, wheels and suspension again. I think here we have the hub caps, the uh, final drive, and the sprocket. And so there's two of these again. So all these are lovely detailed again, which you expect from Dragon to be perfectly honest. You don't expect anything else. Yeah, that's the inside of the return rollers on the top. It's actually got a name on there, I can't really quite see it. If I put it up to the camera, will it readable? Is it readable on the outside? I can't make it out because I'm blind as a bloody bat, but someone might be able to. This is a nice touch. Final drive, really nicely detailed out. That's lovely. That's really, really nice. And part of a sprocket, and these are sprockets. Again, which is nicely detailed. Two part, and obviously that's the rear. There we go. So there's two of those. So two shoe. Sure we've got two in. I'll say that when we get to the instructions. So there's three cogs on each um, on each sprue. That'll be interesting to see when I get to the diet, when I get to the instructions. I still got plastic to go yet. Yeah. And this one here, this screw is for the Stug 3, Mark, Stug 3 yeah, Mark G. So this is this, uh, probably won't use all this screw, I'm just, looking, just glancing at the instructions, there's quite a bit of blue. So they'll maybe only use a couple of bits off there. But still we have a, a one piece gun. So if I ever make a next Stug 3, I've got a one piece gun there. It looks like more of the uh, inner workings and again more inner workings and then we have another presumably this is for the Stug 3 as well with the, uh, for the gun not too sure what that is and again I presume that's for the Stug 3 as well so there may be only a couple of parts I would think maybe these parts were taken off there I wouldn't be 100% sure until I check it but there again all nicely moulded it's the only problem with dragging you get half a ton of spares you know you know, you think they would, to save themselves some money using too much plastic, they would just uh, do what you need. You know, not masses of other things. So here we go, we have a bit of the uh, old sprue G, and we have some more um, Pioneer tools, and the barrel cleaning rods, and the bolt cutters. And the handles, I think it's a driver, and... Yeah, it was the uh, the jack, which looks in a few parts, <laughs> which is usual dragon. Uh, yeah, they look nicely detailed. Those uh, like uh, don't know what they are. The big long bars, thing to do to track to jack the track, and there aren't the track jacks or something. Would not have a clue. Nice spade again. Couple of spades. And so we had that other spray as well with um, pioneer tools on. So probably some of them won't be used. Yeah, nice again. Then when we get to the instructions, we can see what we're going to be used. So we have another bag here with more cogs. Let's see what it says on this. Let's see, this is one for the Horn Shrekker and Nashorn. Oh, sorry, Hornsey, Nashorn, and Hummel. So 
Uh, I don't know until I get to the uh, things that say they're nicely detailed again for the uh, sprockets, another bits and pieces, couple of hatches, final drive, little bits and pieces again, headlights, the bottom there, lifting eyes I would presume. And again there's two of those. And they say that's for the Hornsey, the Nashorn and the Hummel. So we'll get to the uh, destructions now because that was the last of the plastic. And let's have a look what we've got in the front page of the uh, of the instructions. So there's quite a lot of blue, which is typical of uh, Dragon. Let's have a look what parts. So we have the sprockets from the first, this last sprue I showed you. Yeah, the nice final drive that I thought would be nice on the kit isn't the one I'm going to use, unless I'm unless I do something with it and uh, make it historically incorrect. But there you go. So there's quite a bit of blue on there, unfortunately. Oh, I didn't see the photo etch, did we? Let's just check. I didn't see the photo etch in that kit. Oh, but that's the part that's probably missing. It did say it wasn't, but. I thought it would be the loops on the dragon card. Oh, yes, yeah. Blind that bloody bat. You didn't see that bit there, did we? The, uh, it's there. Which is me being stupid as normal. Just pop that back down there. Right? Small plastic back. Useless. Useless, I am. Right, so let's have a look at the. Uh, that's one of those massive things that fold out to 25 bits, on it, is it? Is it a big fold out one? Yeah. It's typical, you know, typical dragon. Arrows pointing to things vaguely and that, but I'm sure we'll, 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 we'll be fine. Just the usual start off with this, with the. Uh, making the bogus and the wheels and the sprockets and the return roller. Starting on the lower hull. Building the parts of the lower the return rollers on again, and then some of the inside again. And then we're on the reverse, put some bits on the bottom. Then we have the front panel, obviously, which you built up on part two, which goes onto the rear. Uh, part was an aerial there, uh, which I probably won't put on until uh, near the end, because I normally I'll snap it off unless I just do the uh, guitar one, probably. No, it's better instructions, I think, they're a bit better, there's not uh, oval, overly pieces on one, on, one, uh, on one set. Obviously I won't be putting the tracks on. Oh, we jump, we jump ahead from there. Four, five, six, seven, seven startings the tracks. What does it say about the tracks? Just go straight to the tracks. That's weird. Yeah, there's a bit of a thing, you go from part 7, sorry part 6, to part 7, and the tracks are on, uh, you know, magically. Yeah, again, there's nothing in figure 4, 5, and se 4, 5, 6, and se 6, there's no nothing mentioned about the tracks, but they're on there on part 7. Yeah, so it's a typical dragon again, I would have thought. There's still no mention of the tracks. But all of a sudden they appeared on there. There's the wheels for the rear for this, this unusual thing. Yeah, the two part, uh, I don't know why they did this, a bit strange. Unless there's tracks on the, on the actual um, track markings on the wheels. Let me start off on the. Uh, where are we going? There we are, the, uh, the jack. 8, 9, 10, 11. Didn't that? 11. Right. It's giving you the tracks to put on for the uh, extra tracks, telling you how many you need. Weird. Really strange. And then you put on this, like, this lifting chassis, lifting thing like a. I don't know how it's called a grass up when he moves it forward. It lifts the gun on and lifts the gun off. These uh, are movable. Do you see about making them movable? It doesn't say. And then part build more of the same thing on the bottom. Have it. Quite nice. 
So that's 12, 11, 12, and about 13. Yeah, I think we like this. We're starting off with the barrel, the interior of the uh, gun. Just looks quite nicely detailed, not too swashed, and you know, I can follow them. There again, we've put the lower key, the lower hull and the upper hull together with the actual uh, breaching in place. But obviously, all that will have to be painted, not before I do all things like that. And then we have a radio set, I presume it's a radio set, some other bits and bobs to put into there. And then we're going to 17, we start and put the actual gun together. Yeah, that was right, just goes the circle, just goes onto the, uh, the end of the muzzle there. And this is part of the uh, mantlet. And then we have the outer, the, another part of the inner pantlet, the outer mantlet, and the gun. And then we have a couple of hatches on the rear. Not too sure what that part is. And then we have the series of leather on hinges as well, so presumably it's where to get in and out of. It'd be interesting to see if I could make it. Um, you can get some figures or something like that, and have the, the back down, and some people getting in and out of the uh, thing. Interesting to see, this is part of the, uh, the grasshopper thing again. And this is what he wanted to do, oh, sorry, I know I remember, remember reading about this. This is if you wanted the turret separate from the, um, the upper hull. You make this up from the, obviously what's in there, and the wheels click onto the, ah, that's what they're for then. The wheels click onto the ish, onto the turret and onto there, and you can tow it behind the tank apparently, which is a strange setup to say the least. And then we have the finished model there, with uh, the turret actually is on on the uh, upper hull. It's quite nicely detailed, looks quite nice. And we have the only the only because I said there was only a couple made, maybe even one. I'm not 100% sure. Um, typical dragon, no, no, no colour, just a uh, blue and blue and black. I can't even tell you what colours they are. I'm sure I'll find out if I read the instructions fully again. So yeah, yeah, not a bad kit really. You know, for 25 quid, I think there's quite a lot of plastic there. I know a lot of it won't be used, but still, still it's an unusual subject, which I'm quite happy I got really. You know, it's just one of them chance things. Didn't. In ten going for uh, for that kit, but just you know, tickled me fancy at the time, so I went and bought it. So that concludes this kit uh, review. I've got two, how many more? One, two more at the moment. I think two more, or three more. Can't remember. So I've got another couple to do today. I think after this, so it'll be three altogether. So I say, like, thank all my subscribers again for uh, for subscribing to me. And same again for all the new people that's uh, arrived on my channel. Welcome and I hope you uh, enjoy this day. So this is Greg signing off and we'll catch you soon with another kit review.